Nowadays, we're spoiled for choice with what radio stations to tune into, and to make matters even more complicated, some of our favourites have closed over the past few years. So if you're going into 2024 feeling a bit lost as to what to listen to, worry no more, as we have put together a list of our top 50 favourite radio stations right now. Before we get started, I wanted to talk to you about the sponsor of this video. Radio.co. I've got a question for you. Have you ever dreamed of having your own radio station? Is there a genre of music or a conversation you think is criminally absent from the airwaves? Maybe you just noticed a gap in the market for a radio station based on tortoises? Well, our sister company, Radio.co, has the tools for you to do all of that and more. Even the tortoise thing. With its easy to use cloud based platform, it's never been easier to automate a 24 7 schedule, broadcast live, and even track your listeners. Launch your radio station in minutes and broadcast to potentially thousands of listeners across the world. Sound good? Well, you can start today with a free seven day trial using the link below. Number one, Refuge. Starting life as a fundraising platform, Refuge was launched in 2022 as a way of amplifying social issues and music important to the presenters. Broadcasting from Berlin in Germany, unless there's another Berlin, uh, they use the platform to showcase underground music and the culture that comes with the underground scene. Like the music, not like the Wombles. Underground, overground, wombling free. The Wombles are Wimbledon, come and are we. Number two, NPR. At over 50 years old, NPR is quite rightly an American institution. And while established, it's certainly not behind the times. NPR continues to be relevant, uh, informing their listeners on news, current affairs, and other general bits and bobs. Number three, Foundation FM. So Foundation FM is a female-led radio station uh, showcasing, again, some of the best underground music. Again, probably not the Wombles. Underground, underground. All the while addressing the underbalance of uh, women or underrepresented groups on the radio. Number four, Soho Radio. Soho Radio gives their presenters free reign and they host a variety of really cool presenters. Number five, Pi Radio. Pi Radio is actually Manchester's number one youth oriented station. With social media to boot, Pi Radio hosts a variety of different music choices, such as underground, R&B, rap, as well as keeping the youths of Manchester up to date with news, entertainment, music, and events. Ah, the youths. Youths. Number six. Worldwide FM. So unfortunately, Worldwide FM had to pause its regular schedule in 2022. But luckily, Giles Peterson and Frist Tyan Station still goes live on an ad hoc basis. And when that's not happening, it does actually repeat old programs in case you missed any. Uh, the station lives up to its name, Mr. Worldwide. Well, not Mr. Worldwide. Uh, showcasing a list of uh, worldwide music. So whatever niche you're into, the chances are you'll find something on Worldwide FM. Number seven, WNYU 89.1 FM. So this is uh, the first student radio station we'll be looking at on this list. It's based out of New York University, but don't let that distract you at all because it is one of the most professional stations you will hear. For 20 years, WNYU was the home of the legendary Beat in Space show, and its schedule includes a variety of different shows from West African disco to anti-fascist power electronics noise music. That sounds good. I want to listen to that. Number eight, Dublin Digital Radio. If you're down with the cultural, political, social happenings in the country of Ireland, then this is one for you. This station is also entirely volunteer led. So go and support them. It's a great alternative to the traditional Irish radio scene. Number nine, The Lot Radio. The Lot Radio is a not-for-profit independent radio station broadcasting from a shipping container. And we're really advertising New York City today, as this one is also based in the Big Apple. The Lot streamed their live radio mixes on YouTube, featuring big-name DJs including Louis Vega, Octa Octa, and Shanti Celeste. Lots of names I've never heard of there, but I'm sure they're good. Number 10, it's Times Radio. So if you've ever heard of The Times, the newspaper, uh, this is essentially that, but on the radio. Created back in 2020 and owned by News UK, the station focuses more on the serious side of news. Given that the Times and the Sunday Times now both have paywalls, uh, the Times radio is kind of like a good free alternative to listening to their journalism. Number 11, Reform Radio. Reform Radio is kind of dedicated to helping younger DJs, radio presenters, uh, and giving them anything they might need to know going forward. This includes DJ sessions, podcasting advice. Number 12, NTS. 
undeniable king on the internet radio scene. Starting off in London, NTS now broadcasts from Manchester and even LA as well. To so dive into a world of sub sub genres from tastemakers, established DJs, and more alike. This one is for the music fans and also the heads of the industry. Number 13, represent radio. We're going back underground. again uh, with underground music, but this time represent radio is focusing more on up and coming talent. If you're keen on finding out about the hugely talented up and coming generation before anyone else, then represent radio is where you need to head. From vocalists to bands to DJs, Represent Radio has it all. 14, Night Ride FM. So we love a radio station with a cool interface and Night Ride FM is definitely up there. It's a curated playlist based group of stations for different subgenres of synth wave. And the theme of the website is different for each subgenre of radio station. All I can think when I'm listening to it is that I'm in the film Drive, which is great because that means I'm Ryan Gosling. What a guy. 15, Radio Paradise. Fully supported by their big listener base, Radio Paradise provides alternative tunes all mixed harmoniously by their two hosts. And there's no ads. This is quite a unique radio station in that you can skip the songs you don't like. That is the beauty of online radio. It's allowing us to do really cool things like this. So if you like Spotify and you like the odd radio station, but you get a bit annoyed when they play the same old songs over and over again, don't worry, you can skip it. It's fine. 16, Rinse FM. We're back in London again. It's London. This legendary station was originally a pirate station, but it's now gone legit. And it's primarily responsible for pushing the grime, garage, underground scene uh, in the London area. If you want to listen to part of that history, then it's definitely one for you. Number 17, Hong Kong Community Radio. Hong Kong Community Radio champions the vibrancy of the Hong Kong musical and cultural scene, all the while spotlighting East Asian artists. Hong Kong Community Radio also makes up for the lack of political analysis in the area, thus filling a gap that is badly needed. 18, Cafe Del Mar. This radio station is broadcast from the iconic Ibiza Sunset Bar. So if it's a bit grey and gloomy outside, then why not tune in and transport yourself to the wonderful beaches, the pristine waters, and the drunk people spilling drinks all over you. 19, Seoul Community Radio. Broadcasting from the Soul and Friends underground scene. Alongside their live webpage, which is hosted by Radio.co, they also have a Twitch and even a Facebook live page to boot. As a result, they pay due diligence to both the visual aspects and audio aspects of their video streaming to give them an added layer of creativity. Number 20, Gen X Radio. Uh, so local radio in the UK is seen a bit of a hit over the past few years. Luckily, ex-BBC presenter James Hazel is bringing it back. Broadcasting from the county of Suffolk, Gen X Radio is a traditional radio station, really, except its focus is on local. Local, local, local. So if you're missing that local traditional radio vibe, then Gen X is the one for you. 21, Brooklyn Radio. Quintessentially Brooklyn, this radio station really makes you feel like you're there. All the while showcasing the rich musical tapestry that New York City is known for from hip hop to house. I say quintessential, I've never been, but I have watched a lot of friends. 22, Dublab. Dublab is another great radio station where the world's best DJs have full control over their output. Originating in LA over 20 years ago, Dublab has nurtured many cultural ecosystems like the LA beat scene. And it now has sister stations in Germany, Brazil, Japan, and more. 23, Melodic Distraction. Broadcasting from Liverpool using Radio.co, Melodic Distraction is a radio station, bar, coffee shop, and it runs its own online magazine as it amplifies sounds and stories from the region with its 150 plus monthly shows. 24, Radio. Radio isn't just a fun name. It's also a great radio station. It's also one of the more unique ones on this list uh, as all you have to do is pick a country and a decade and it will generate a song for you. Ever wonder what 1950s Bangladesh sounded like? Cool. Well, go on and find out. Uh, this is another example of how online radio is really changing the game, uh, as this would not have been possible 10, 20 years ago. 25, Ha. Oh. Ha, oh, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, uh, is a radio station that gives the rest of the world a window into Berlin's underground music scene. No need for passwords or whatever you need to get through the tricky Berlin security guards. Uh, this station gives you access to the Berlin electronic music scene easily. 26, totally wired radio. This new online radio station is brought to you by acid jazz boss Eddie Filler, focusing on the left field and progressive music ignored by mainstream media. In the last two hours of each day, the host presents in their first language, thus giving totally wired more of a global reach than most radio stations. 27, Orocco 
Radio. This station gives a big emphasis on the Accra community, alongside championing artists and ideas from Africa and the African scene. 28. Balami. Balami's dedication to the underground music and cultural scene has cemented itself as an essential part of the music ecosystem. Are there any wombles though? I'm not so sure. As an example of this, rappers Dave and Central C featured on the Victory Lap show, not long after their single Sprinter was released. Sprinter rocketed to number one, and we are sure that the viral clips of them dancing in their studio was probably part of the reason for that. 29. BBC Radio 6 Music. Ah, old faithful. Emerging in 2002, before the boom of internet radio, BBC Radio 6 Music offered listeners across the UK a refreshing alternative to mainstream music. Quickly became a favourite for indie lovers and bands hoping to make a name for themselves in the music industry. It also became a favourite for those who like to look edgy. And I include myself on that list. Nowadays, it's a bit more mainstream, but it still offers listeners a breadth of brand new music they've probably never heard before. 30. Cheddar News. You're not Cheddar. This is some common No, Captain Holt. It is Cheddar. It's Cheddar News. An American news network with a keen focus on financial affairs, including stock trading coverage. However, Cheddar News spans much more than that as its original programs cover history, science, and cultural happenings. And Cheddar News doesn't discriminate on topics that could be considered high or lowbrow. 31. X-Ray FM. X-Ray FM is a real gem on showing broadcasters just how to do it. It's a reputable information source with a great music catalog to boot. This Portland-based station brings informative and entertaining talk shows alongside the music and the taste of the city. Again, it really makes you feel like you're there. And again, I've not been. Fate 2, Cybercrime Radio. Uh, with cybercrime increasing year upon year and hackers getting more and more clever on how to steal your information, uh, cybercrime radio is superb for keeping listeners up to date on how to keep themselves safe. 33. Geek Life Radio Geek Life Radio is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a station for keeping nerds and geeks up to date on the latest nerdy geeky things. I'm liking the sound of this. From comics to gaming, Geek Life Radio is the one-stop shop for audio content of the geek persuasion. That is a very fancy way of saying it's nerdy as hell. 34, CNN. You've probably all heard of CNN, so we don't really need to say much on this, do we? It has rolling global news coverage, major headlines, and interviews for one of America's major broadcasters. 35, Illinois. Featuring conversations and music from key artists across the hip hop drill and R&B scenes. Illinois' radio hosts are also just incredibly good at what they do. Every conversation is deep and refreshing and they get a wide breadth of guests. 36. Cine Mix a great soundtrack can sometimes stand out more than the film or TV show itself. I listened to the soundtrack for The Martian so much, I forgot it came with a film. Cinemax is for those that appreciate the film art form, as well as a station that is dedicated to only playing soundtracks from film and TV. So if you need to chill out while you're writing, or maybe just trying to relax, then this is the one for you. Voice having KQED FM. KQED FM is actually an NPR member station broadcasting from San Francisco. This is another great talk based radio station that delivers shows on themes such as politics, the arts, and even science. It also includes popular podcasts like This American Life and even works with BBC World Services. 38. Fun Kids. We've talked about the U's, now let's go even youthier. I used to be with it, but then they changed what it was. Now what I'm with, isn't it? And what's it seems weird and scary to me. If you want to keep your kids entertained without the need for Pokemans and Subway Surferers, then this is the one for you. Fun Kids provides content that is entirely suitable for just children, um, and it might even get your kids into radio. 39. Spiritland. Spiritland has a few incredible bars in London, all complete with bespoke sound systems. Naturally, they invite vinyl heads and audio files because of this. With Spiritland Radio, you can tap into the wondrous selections of the collectors, selectors, and DJs that know their musical onions. What an incredible sentence. 40. KEXP. KEXP is Seattle's main station with fantastic music and great listenership to boot. KEXP is Seattle's main radio station with amazing listener support for a reason. The station boasts the best in independent, alternative and left field music and regularly schedules exclusive live performances from musicians that are up and coming or already well revered in the industry. 41, Radio FM. No points for originality in the name, but lots of points for originality in what they do. Based in Slovakia, this is a station that provides an alternative to the commercial music station heard on private radio stations. There's something for all musical fans, as Radio FM's shows span genres including hip-hop, new jazz and heavy metal. 
to name a few. 42, WWOZ 90.7 FM. WWOZ is the radio station for broadcasting New Orleans musical heritage. This station routinely broadcasts the live gigs happening in the birthplace of jazz, including the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. 43, KUTX 98.9 FM. Broadcasting from the University of Texas, KUTX 98.9 is committed to bringing the sounds of the history of Austin to the rest of the world. Dive in to hear the rich heritage and musical history of Texas. 44, Shady Pines Radio. In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, video production company Shady Pines Media was after a way of connecting with Portland's creative. So they only went and found Radio.co. They established Shady Pines Radio and watched the station's involvement snowball. Now it hosts up to 75 different shows and has an amazing supportive community. Shady Pines is a real success story of how you can expand your business into something you never knew possible. 45, Open Lab Radio. Open Lab FM was founded in 2013 by the legendary electronic music composer Robert Miles and broadcasts online and on FM from Ibiza. The station brings together visual artists, architects, DJs, producers, musicians, all to deliver in its vision of a future world. If you want to feel like you're in Blade Runner 2049 and, and, and Ryan Gosling again, this is the one for you. 46. Primavera Sound Radio. Ever heard of Primavera Sound, the festival hosted in Barcelona each year? I hadn't either, but I have now. This station, also hosted by Radio.co, stays true to its roots in broadcasting in Spanish, as well as acknowledging its place on the global stage with shows in English. So you've got no excuse, all right? 47, Sugi Radio. Sugi or Tsugi, I'm really sorry, I don't know how you pronounce this, is broadcast from Paris. It brings listeners an exciting mix of left field music and cultural programs. Highlights include Purds, Paz, Mapaz, where musicians and guests invited to talk about their favorite books. And I probably butchered that pronunciation as well. I'm so sorry. There's also a show called Annie Lumery, where each episode is dedicated to talking about the cinema of one particular year. 48, Nomad Radio. This non-for-profit community station is centered on broadcasting the sound of Australia's underground music scene. It's live from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. every day from Sydney. 49, Legacy 90.1. This is one of Manchester's community radio stations that elevates and spotlights presenters, DJs, and music with the African and Caribbean heritage. Legacy 90.1 also delivers important projects such as their recent Let's Talk series, which explored the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on Manchester's African and Caribbean communities. And finally, number 50, Gadio. One of the biggest LGBTQ plus platforms in the UK, Gadio broadcasts upbeat music and community news that is omitted from mainstream media. This is a station that is doing incredibly well right now and definitely one that should be on your radar uh, if you're looking at finding a brand new radio station to dive into for 2024. Oh my days, that was a long list, but we've done it. That is our top 50 radio stations to listen to in 2024. But we are fully aware that not every radio station we like or indeed you may like made it onto the list. And if you're currently screaming in anger uh, at one of the radio stations we missed um i'm really sorry about that but let us know down in the comments because we'd love to know but don't try to be nice so until next time i've been rowan thank you very much for watching this video and uh see you in the next one